I today we've come for a lunch in Ao Nang at a fairly new restaurant which has become really popular with the locals. This is Goji Ao Ruar Yoksot which is a boat noodle restaurant. Yoksot literally means pick up your bowl and drink. I've ordered a couple of boat noodles. These are really well priced. 15 baht each. It's pretty cheap. If you buy six you get one free. Horn comes here pretty regularly. It's become her favourite restaurant in the area. There was one day when she had 10 of these. They're not huge but they are very very tasty. It's got some morning glory in there. Noodles, some bits of pork and also pork bowl. They also do beef and chicken as well as your boat noodle you also get a tray of vegetables here it's got some Thai basil and some bean shoots I'm gonna start by adding some bean shoots and some Thai basil to it we also got a plate of fried pork skin which I'm gonna add so mix it up let's give it a go get a bit of pork there and some noodle That is very tasty. It's a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. It's also a box of condiments on the table which you can add to adjust it to your own flavor. If you want a spicy, there's chili paste, dried chili there. If you want a saltier, there's some fish sauce. Or if you want it sour, there's some vinegar with chilies in it as well. I'm pretty happy with the flavor as it is. This stuff was originally sold by vendors who traveled the canals and rivers in Thailand in their boats selling this, hence the name boat noodle which is Koi Tiao Rua. I generally prefer the small noodles, but there's a number of different noodles you can get. You can get a wider yellow noodle, you can get big noodles. I've got a bit of that pork skin. It had absorbed a bit of the moisture from the broth, but it was still quite crunchy. Really good. As well as my two boat noodles, I also got a boiled pork with lemon. On got a caprao blamut, which is squid with basil and chili. She also got a somtam Blara, which is a papaya salad with fermented fish sauce and raw crab. And Ananda got a fried rice with pork. For drinks, Orn got a Thai iced tea and I got a milky iced tea. Plenty of ice in it. These are really refreshing on hot days in Thailand. Very tasty, quite sweet. I do love the Thai teas. Try a bit of Orn sometime before it disappears. This has always got tomato in it, plenty of chili, and it's got some grated carrot and also some Thai eggplants. One doesn't really like tomato, so I'll take some of the tomato as well as the papaya there. This one's quite salty and, and extremely spicy, I would say. It's definitely a Thai favourite with the locals, but the fermented fish sauce is a bit of an acquired taste. Lots of Westerners don't seem to like it. Hot boiled pork's got lots of fried vegetables around it and some chopped garlic, and it's also topped with minced chilli. So I'll grab a bit of that. Really good. It's something I only recently discovered in Thailand when one of our Thai friends made it for us at home. It's a little sour, a little bit sweet, but really, really yummy. Fried vegetables, I'm not sure what they are. It might be uh, very finely chopped basil, I think. Fried Thai basil, delicious. The restaurant's got a very extensive menu, there's well over a hundred items in the menu. Here's a quick look at what they've got.
also got a big drinks menu with over a hundred things with everything from Thai teas and coffees to soft drinks and spirits and cocktails and there's a great dessert menu as well We've had quite a few desserts here in the past. They've all been really yummy. Today I got this one. This is a Thai ice dessert. So I've got a spoon of the ice. When the girl was making it, she put some jelly in the bottom. I believe this is coconut jelly with a couple of different colours. Then she topped it with the minced ice. Put some sort of green topping on it. And also condensed milk. And last, some minced red bean. Very, very tasty. I think I've lost my dessert to my family though. So if you're in Krabi or Anang, do check this place out. It's very comfortable. There's plenty of seating. We've come here at four o'clock, so it is a bit quiet at the moment. We've kind of come between the rush hour. But when we've been here in the evenings, it's pretty well packed. They've also got live entertainment in the evenings. We seem to have different performers on different nights playing mainly Thai songs. So that's Kotiao Rua Yoksod. We definitely enjoy it here. We keep coming back, so do try it out. Thanks heaps for watching. Check out my channel for lots more Thailand videos. I post new Thai food and travel videos every Wednesday. See you next week. Bye-bye.